Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals where we take a look at one of the uh, readings in the lectionary for this upcoming Sunday and offer a few thoughts for reflection. And this week we're looking at a uh, passage in Paul's letter to uh, Colossians. Uh, the other day, or I think it was a week or so ago, one of my daughters was wearing an outfit that I, I wasn't sure how she exactly put this outfit together. And um, <laughs> she noticed I was kind of like giving her a critical look. And I said, well, I said, you know, listen, you do you. And she said, the expression is you be you. <laughs> Which reminded me that not only do I not understand teenage fashion sense, I don't understand teenage slang at all either. <laughs> but um, I think what that, term means is to just be yourself. And, and that's a, that's sort of a, a kind of a advice or an adage that is popular in our very individualistic Western society. Uh, you know, this era of self-help and self-actualization where we're given the message that, you know, if we just uh, do away with labels and categories and we don't conform ourselves to any expectations of people or society. Uh, you know, we can get to our, if we strip away all the vestiges of, of society, we can get to our true self, our authentic self. Just, just be you. Well, the apostle Paul would, would agree with part of that when he, when he advises us to strip away our old self. He writes, put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. And these are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices." So Paul advises to strip away all of those uh, things that, are, that make up your former self. But, but for Paul, there's a difference. Stripping away everything doesn't leave your true self. Stripping away everything, well, it just leaves you naked. <laughs> you must not just strip away, but you must then clothe yourselves with something else, as Paul says, and have clothed yourselves with the new self which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. We must strip away the former self, but then clothe ourselves with Christ. And so uh, if I can borrow a little bit of teenage slang, it's, it's not so much you be you, but you be Christ. Amen.